Well, grab your band and we'll start with overheads. Pull downs. So your Dyna band, you can start with your band and your arms up and pull down. Now exhale as you pull down with your band going wide and in front of you to your chest. Wide and in front of you to your chest. Exhale. Exhale. Now as you are ready, breathe in through your nose if you can. And I would like to stay here with your arms, but if you can add on a cue, lift your heels as you pull down. There you go. And then lift your heels as you pull down. And three. And even though our arms are overhead, our shoulder blades are down the back. And five. And I am trying to have a little pause at the top, just a basically a controlled up and a controlled down. Some repetitions will be better than others, so you're just giving that a try. And try five more. Good. And five. Pull out and down. Four. Lift up with soft knees. Three. Looking good. Two. And on the one, we're going to take the band behind our upper back. So put the band at your shoulder blade area. I like palm up and I like to um, grab a little extra tubing. Now, um, you're going to have us do five regular pushes. That way you can adjust. Does it need to have more tension? Does it need to have more slack? And get used to that. For two more, that is your move. But if you would like, you can open up the feet a bit. And at the same time, now this is option. That means you could just take one of these. But if you can, you're still pressing out and you're dropping into an imaginary chair and pushing back up. Now, if your video camera, your phone, your iPad, is at a place where you have to kind of crank your neck to look at me, just make it to where, even if you have to look at the floor for part of the squat, your neck is easy. It's, it's uh, without tension. And eight. Shoulders are down the back. And seven. And you may feel heart rate getting up. These are big muscles. Six. You may feel like your ankles are warming up. Five. Four. Three. Hips are warming up. Two. Heels are heavier than the toes. One. Very good job. Now we're going to take the band to our feet. If you have the elastic tubing, your palms are up. Your heels are in the middle. Another way to hold this is like a hammer. Um, I know Michelle, that one feels better for you. And pull and lower and exhale. Now your chest is open. You're breathing continuously. And five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, this is good uh, holding muscles, 19, 20. Now take your hand, I'm going to take this off actually guys, take your one hand behind your back so you have uh, one hand at the skull, one, yeah, me too, Karen, and one hand at the low back. Now, make sure that feels comfortable for your grip. Play around with it. Normally, the hand facing your head feels comfortable, keeps some tone. You can see that I'm pressing up and up and up. Now on this one, it's easy to get lordotic or sway back. So there's a little tone underneath your ribs. All right, 10 more. I like these muscles. They help you get out of low chairs. They help you if you were to fall the triceps. I like to train these muscles for us. Five more. I like the controlled up and the down. That was great. And you're not just letting the band slap your hand back down. 
two, they should be getting tired now in the back arm and now take it to the other hand. And it's 20. So even if you had a little different count, roughly here, 20 reps, the modification would be give yourself more slack if that's what you need to do to finish that set. Ribs are over the pelvis. Knees are soft. Eight. Back of the arm. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen and 20 really good now take your band again behind your scapula now we're going to take a breath stroke go ahead and start wide with your legs because we're going to be doing an add-on i'm going to do a couple of these first so go out and in this is the movement with the arms now if that feels good meaning shoulder blades down and back and everybody looks good by the way you could add on a second position squat with the breaststroke motion yeah add a, an exhale of course with that hard part or at least at the bare minimum keep breathing <laughs> so you maybe tempted to hold your breath it's okay if you want the belly to pull in we're just going to keep breathing now and fluid in and out now keep the legs guys but when you're ready go forward with your arms and then out keep the legs go forward so another way to say it could be narrow to wide. Palms are up and the shoulders are down the back. Go as low or as high as you need with the legs. It's your class to build strength safely while keeping your joints happy and healthy. And perfect. Come to a standing, more neutral. Palms face you. Step on the band with your heels. Now elbows out like this. Yep, there you go, Karen. The handles probably work right on this. Three. Now, even though I'm lifting my elbows, my neck is easy, knees are easy. Uh, another word for that is soft. Now your wrist are going with your forearms so there's no pain. No discomfort. The rest are easy. You're not forcing them vertical. Take five more. Be soft, breathing. Nice. Now, I do want to let go of that. And if you want to sit, grab it. And we're going to do a lateral raise one arm at a time. Mm. Stand on that band and out and out this is a lateral raise out three four five six now my neck is still easy seven but my shoulders working eight more slack nine if it's getting too hard ten take five more i'm not going higher than my shoulder i'm keeping it shoulder or lower like that tone right here two other side so step on that band heel out two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven still the shoulder 12, not the neck. 13, the body's solid. 14, and 15, really good. Why don't we have a seat? Um, I may tilt you down a little, but just have a seat. Wrap a heavy band around your feet, or the other thing you could do is wrap two bands around your feet. Take your band around your feet, or take two bands around your feet because the back's going to be a stronger muscle. Now walk your hands into the band. So for example, I have, um, I'm not even holding my handles. 
because I want to be able to have tension on the band as soon as I start pulling. Pull the elbows past your ribs, and I'm going to turn just so you can see me from this angle, but I'm trying to keep an upright spine. A modification would be to have a seat on a pillow that allows you to keep a long spine. Everybody I see looks good though. But if it's too hard and it's hurting your hip flexors to stay upright, grab a pillow and that's just fine. Now full exhale, full exhale. Now what we can add on is a rotation, one arm. Now rotate the other way. Now rotate and rotate as you pull. One arm stays long, one arm is rotating with the same side that you're, you're um, pulling. Ten. And when you rotate, you're not sinking into your hip. You're staying tall. You're just rotating cleanly. You're not dipping towards the hip. Take four. Good. Bend your elbow, um, Miss Jean. Bend it. Yeah. Bend your elbow. Your forearms parallel to the floor. Bend parallel to the floor. Now take the, um, I'm going to get a lighter band because this one's so heavy. So take a band that has moderate tension, wrap it around your feet, put your, so cross it like an X, put your elbows by your side and open up your forearms. External rotation, that looks good quality. Yep, shoulders are down, good. Karen, everybody, good. I, this is the shoulder rehab one or prehab. Your wrists are neutral. If you look at them, they're straight no matter where they are in the sequence. Five, four, three, two. Now I'm going to turn towards you so you can see me. I want to keep them crossed if you can and open out to the side. If that feels too hard, you can uncross them and do the same. It's like a T. You're making the letter T, but to me it also seems like um, a slightly rounded uh, gesture like a hug but then with the hug I'm going reverse rear fly that looks really good everybody the back shoulder is really important for shoulder health and preventing rounded shoulders five notice how good your posture has gotten guys and how strong you have to feel now we're going to take that uncrossed so right now they're parallel I'm going to turn just so you can see me you can do these here if you bend your elbows and straighten, but normally you'd have to grab more band. The other thing you could do is just lean back a little and deliberately get in your abs. Another trick is to lift your elbows a little higher, and that makes it more tension. So there's all sorts of ways to make this your own. So I would like to feel your biceps. I would like you to feel your abs. But if leaning back in a scooped out position does it feel good on your back, you can stay upright and just grab the band tighter. All right, try eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now sit up, and then you're going to put your feet uh, long still, but put your arms beside your hips. Long, like an upside down V. I do bias the pinky side of my hand here when I'm pulling. That means that I'm not internally rotated. Does that make sense? So kind of have this open shoulder, open chest. That's it. Gene, that looks good. You're kind of leading with your pinky side of your hand. And Karen, even with the tubings, I just put my hand inside and I just, you know, kind of knife it. So I don't even have to grip. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See if that feels better to you. It feels better to me. And pull. Now you're tall, your arms are not running into the floor, they're just barely skirting above it. And they're beside your hips somewhere where you can do that. Long arm pull. This is also great for the posture. Two. Now before we add on, let's take a rack posture. You know how you lift your arm up and then you're going to lift your arm up and your fingers point away, soften the elbows and lift your heart. Breathe into the chest and shoulders. You're also just telling your spine this is the thoracic extension we want. Chest and shoulders are open. Inhale. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. 
Now bring it back and hold hands with yourself and take five circles or so. Five, five circles or so. Palms together and lower. This is a stretch for the palms and then the forearms. I love this one. Do this one. Get a red light when you're driving. All right, we're going to go back to the band. So the band is wrapped around your feet, and I'm um, going to pull this up, up, an X. So one arm is a little higher than the other, and then you stretch. So imagine a wide X. Mm -hmm. You make it what you need. Exhale. But one arm is a little higher than the other. One arm's a little lower. They both pull back at the same time still. And even though one arm's harder and one arm's lower, you're not going higher than your shoulder, usually. If you, you can, but I just am trying to keep it really high benefit, low risk. And neck is easy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Take a little shoulder roll. Wonderful. And then I'd like to offer a chest press. If you don't have a set of weights to do lying down chest press, you can also do push-ups on the wall or push-ups on the floor. So you could do push-ups on the wall. You could grab your weights and lie down on your back with your feet on the floor. So I'm just going to kind of look and see what everybody's doing so I know what to cue. But it's going to work the chest. There you go, Karen. So you'll be down if you have those weights and then this. Now, if you don't want these, there you go, Polly. Okay, good, everybody's got them. If you were not to have these one day, let's say you're traveling and you're taking class, you could do push-ups or you could use the band to press out, but I just wanted to mix it up for us. Now, my intention is that we do 20 of these. You press up and you touch the ends of the weights like the weights are kissing. You exhale. 10 more, your ribs are on the mat. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, take a full body stretch for a moment. Reach through your arms, reach through your legs. And then Sneak in 20 ab crunches. Take your legs up and take 20 crisscrosses. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now you're gonna get on your belly and do one swan without your hands helping you. Uh, so really just lift your hands behind you, your legs up, your torso up. Hold, just breathe. We're doing one ab exercise and one back exercise in the middle of the weights and the bands. Breathe in, good for, oh, this looks good. You guys look great. Five, four, three, look how far everybody's come, two, now a brief child's pose, press your hips back. And then I want you to sit or stand or kneel. You can stand, I'm probably just for ease gonna stay uh, down, let's see. And sneak in a set of hammer curls with your weights. Now you can bend your elbows and I'll, I'll kneel and bend your elbows. <clears throat> just sneaking in different ways to resist uh, to have resistance training. If being on your knees doesn't feel good, please go up. Five more. Now, lower those down. I'm going to tilt my camera up a moment. We're going to do standing lateral raises with a lighter weight. So that's what's coming. If you need to sit, grab it. But that's what's coming. Standing lateral raises. Now, it's a long lever, so it may be a lighter weight than what you did the biceps with. And depending on what your home gym situation is, one easy way to modify is to do fewer reps 
or take a couple of reps of rest and then join back when you can. Another way to make it harder is to, let's say you have a limited number of weights you own, you can just do more reps. So there's a couple ways that you can make this your um, fatiguing at the final repetitions with good form. That would be what your result is. Fatiguing repetitions at the final reps, but with good form. Three, two, now on the one, leave those weights here by your side. Lift up both heels. You know during the class we do calf raises with our body weight mostly. So this is a way to add more to our body weight without adding on extra flush. You just pick up some weights. Knees soft. Now if everybody's doing okay, you're gonna add a, a set of squats with the weights. If you need to drop them, then do. What I'm trying to do is just mix it up over the week so you have different exercises. And that way the body has different adaptations it has to do. Three, to get stronger. Four, and also on our bones strong. Five, so this is good for femur. Six, the big long bone of the leg. Seven, it's almost to me like you're picking up a suitcase. So you have a handle in each hand. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, now to hold your stance, you've got your feet underneath your hips. Take your hands about here. Now you're gonna do an overhead press. If you would like to modify, have a seat in a chair or take a lower weight, those are two ways to modify if you'd like to. Four, bend with your control. Five, neck is easy. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now up to five more. And when I say that, you wanna to listen to your body. If your weights are heavier than then you need to rest, that's okay. If you feel like you can do two more, join two. And if you need to do one or few more or less, that's you. You do what you need. Lower that down. Now, um, do you remember how we do this knocking on the door of life? Just release tension. Good, Karen, five. Yeah, grab a sip if you need. Three, two, and one and then take those weights probably three four or five pounds take them to the front now front and then lower front raise is still shoulder three i do like to get our shoulders four five i do bias the upper body in these classes because even if you weren't to work out if you at least walk during your day or run around the house, you're at least using your legs. So I do like to bias our upper body. I want you to feel strong and capable for the task that you need to do. Now up to five more. What that means is if you're fatigued and you need to wait rather one rep, you can wait. If you're feeling okay with your weight, continue with me two more. Now keep that here. Get ready, go up. Go up. I tried to make that smooth and controlled. They don't always work. Sometimes I land a little faster than I mean to, but my intention is that we're slow up and slow down. Six, so like that one, I accidentally came down too quickly. That's okay. Seven, you just do the best you can. Eight, so we're kind of negotiating balance with this. Nine, and 10. Now a squat set, here we go. You have the weight if you can, and you take 10 and you take nap. So what this does is add more body weight than you have on your body. So it's a, a way to increase that stress in a good way you stress on the bones, on the muscles. When you stand, just make sure the knees don't lock backwards. Hey, I hope your legs feel strong from the hikes. One more. Nice, okay, now take your weights. Three, four, five pounds is what I'm guessing. Put them behind you, maybe six. Push up. Now look, keep going, I'm gonna talk for a minute. The way to make this easier is to get rid of one of your hand weights and just hold one hand weight with two hands. 
So your hands will be in the middle. I like to kind of touch the ends together on me so they help me guide it. Rib tuck, breathe, straighten, breathe. And thank you guys for doing all the variety. I'm so glad to be able to change it out for us. Now you could take up to five more. You could say, hey, I need to get rid of one of my weights. I need to rest. You just do what's a good challenge for you. Lower that down. And take a little, a little uh, half moon pose. Now, if you want to do a little foot over, go for it. Inhale. And then exhale. All right. Now, when you're ready, find a wall to sit against. And I'm just mixing it up for us. What this does, this wall sit, feel these muscles working, but you can put your feet far enough away that your knees should feel really good here and your weight so far back. If you don't have a wall, oh, good, Karen, that works. Perfect. You just need something as narrow as you. I like to put my upper shoulder, like shoulder blades upper back against it. If you touch right here, this is what should be working, right in here. Now breathe, this is called an isometric hold, kind of like when we do a, a plank. This is in one range of motion and the muscle length is the same and we're working it here. Remember as kids, we used to challenge each other for like a minute or five minutes. So hold this, breathe in, now, when you're ready, you can stand up. You can even use your hands. And then take a set of 15 push-ups on the wall and walk away if you need to for harder. And then uh, when you're ready, come in, grab the sip if you need to as well. And I just want to uh, send you off with an intention. I want you to feel how strong you guys have gotten. When I look in the screen and I see each of your bodies, it is phenomenal what has happened the last couple years. It is awesome. So I want you to own it and feel it because I know you live with yourself and you may not notice the changes, but notice it today because you guys are looking so strong. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.